In this video, you'll learn all about document layout. You'll learn how to insert repeats and other special endings into your score, and how to format a document for printing. Let's open up an incomplete score for Wayfaring Stranger to show how to put in repeat signs and codas. You may change where a system breaks by selecting a bar line and clicking the System Break button on the palette that pops up. Create a repeat by selecting a bar line and clicking the Repeat symbol on the Editing palette. We'll do this for the end and the beginning of the repeat. Specify the first or second endings by selecting the measures and then clicking the Repeat Ending button on the Symbols palette. Once an ending number is selected, you can change the number or specify multiple endings with commas or hyphens. To notate events in the score, like a coda or a senyo, you may select a part of the score and then choose the appropriate symbol from the Symbols palette. NoteFlight can interpret special text like DS Alcoda, and all of these notations will affect playback accordingly. To change the way your score appears, format it any way you like by selecting the View, Document Layout option on the menu bar. Here, you may change note size, adjust staff or system spacing, add measure numbers, and more using the options available. When you're viewing a score, you can view it in page layout or strip layout. To switch between these viewing modes, use the View option on the menu bar. Strip layout is useful for viewing scores with multiple instruments. You may print the score using the File, Print option from the menu bar. With most web browsers, the pop-up window will contain an option for saving your score to the PDF format. With NoteFlight Crescendo, you may print individual parts by using the File, Print Individual Parts option. This option prints each part in the score, transposed for its instrument, on a separate set of pages. For more information on all of NoteFlight's features, check out the online user guide. Thanks for watching.